Hi, my name is Caroline. In this video, we're going to do a really basic introduction to the Raspberry Pi 5 Complete Beginner's Guide. I'm going to do an unboxing for you. I'm going to attach this active cooler and I'm going to get the Raspberry Pi operating system up and working. Now let's get started. The materials you'll need for this project of course you'll need your Raspberry Pi 5 and I purchased this from Micro Center. This is the Raspberry Pi 5 with the 8 gigabytes of RAM. Yes, I did pay for this myself. Then I also bought the active cooler. The price tag is right on the front of it so you can't really see what it looks like so we'll unbox it and I'll show you exactly what it looks like. And yes, I'll need my micro SD card. And yes, I'll need another computer to format my micro SD card with the Raspberry Pi operating system. You'll also need your HDMI to micro HDMI cable. And I do have a monitor that goes with this. And I went ahead and 3D printed a Raspberry Pi 5 case. And you'll need a power cable. This is the power cable from my Raspberry Pi 4 and of course I need my mouse and my keyboard to operate my Raspberry Pi and those are the items you'll need for this project. Now let's get started with the unboxing of my Raspberry Pi 5 and uh, it says open from here. And here is my Raspberry Pi 5. Ethernet, USB port, power, micro, HDMI, two of those, and my GPIO pins. Excellent. There it is. Now let us unbox this cooler. because that's, that's the first thing we're going to attach. And here is the Raspberry Pi 5 cooler. You can see the little stickers on the back. I'll peel off back and then this should fit right over my Raspberry Pi 5. I see these holes right here, this hole right here, and this hole right here. I believe that's how the Raspberry Pi 5 cooler lines up. Should be able to just pop this in right here and then on this side there's that little hole. Pop that in. Now you are wondering how am I gonna power my Raspberry Pi cooler. I believe the right here. Oh, I just peeled it off with my fingernail. Okay, there it is. Pop that off and then I just need to insert this. And I'm gonna just pop that on and there we go. And so now I've attached my Raspberry Pi cooler to my Raspberry Pi. Next thing I need is my micro SD card which I formatted with the Raspberry Pi operating system. In this section of the video, I'll show you how I format the micro SD card for my Raspberry Pi 5 on my MacBook. I'm going to raspberrypi.com. I'll link to this below and I'm going to hit software and I'm going to use the Raspberry Pi OS download for Mac OS. If you're on a Windows, it should default to Windows. If you're on Ubuntu, I'm going to hit download for Mac OS. Of course, I've already done that. So I'm going to install that like you do every other app on your computer. And lo and behold, you'll get this Raspberry Pi imager. Once you have it all set up, all you have to do is select your device. My device is a Raspberry Pi 5. Now this works great for your Raspberry Pi 4, Raspberry Pi 02W. So there are different Raspberry Pis for you to select from. I'm going to hit Raspberry Pi 5 and I'm going to choose my operating system. I'm going to go with the most common default operating system for this video, which is the Raspberry Pi OS 64 bit. I've already inserted my micro SD card into my MacBook. Now I'm going to hit choose storage and my choices for storage are going to be this 16 gig micro SD card I just inserted. Click on that. When I have these three parameters selected, I'm going to hit next. Would you like to apply your customization settings? Let's look at what the settings are. Edit settings. 
the settings are you can set your host name, you can set your username and password, you can configure your LAN, and of course you want to set your location. Since I didn't set these things up, the username and password and the wireless LAN, you'll be prompted for these when you boot up the machine for the first time. Now, if you are going to be on a wired connection, then yeah, obviously you don't need to configure a wireless LAN. I'm gonna hit save, and then I'm gonna say, yes, I want to apply these customization settings click yes and then everything of course will be deleted from my micro SD card yes I want to continue for a MacBook I'll be prompted for my local password and then I will start writing my micro SD card we are now done with writing the Raspberry Pi operating system to a micro SD card it is indicated on the screen and now I can hit continue and remove the SD card from the reader insert that I will need Pi case 3d printed this it's printed as two pieces so hopefully that fits on, fits right there. And then pop that on, just pops right on. It's a snap fit case. They said you could add some screws or a tighter fit. This is the Raspberry Pi case I decided to print. HDMI, micro HDMI. I am going to plug in. Here's my micro HDMI. And here's the dongle for my mouse keyboard combo. And I will attach my HDMI cable, the other end of my HDMI cable to my monitor, to the regular HDMI cable I use. And then we are going to plug in both ends. Now let's plug in the Raspberry Pi 5 and I'll plug in the other end to my wall outlet. And here we go. This is the initial boot of the Raspberry Pi 5 with the Raspberry Pi operating system 64-bit. And it is rebooting multiple times. Here we go, welcome to the Raspberry Pi desktop. Before you get started, there are a few things for us to set up. I'm gonna click next, United Kingdom. We're gonna change that to United States, American English, time zone. I'm gonna hit New York. I'm gonna use US keyboard, use English language, hit next, setting my location. All right, now we need to create a user. I'm just gonna choose Pi and then enter in a password. After you do this, don't forget your password. Choose a Wi-Fi network and I'm gonna hit next. Then I need to type in the password for my Wi-Fi network. Hit next and it's asking me to choose my default browser, Chromium. I'm gonna hit next. Do I want to enable Raspberry Pi Connect? It's a service which allows you to securely access your Raspberry Pi's desktop from any computer. I'm gonna to toggle that on and I'm gonna hit next. And now I've got to update my software. I'm gonna hit next. And now I'm gonna probably go through a few more reboots. System is now up to date, excellent. We'll hit OK, and then now it wants to restart, and we'll click Restart. And now our Raspberry Pi 5 has rebooted, and that was a basic introduction to the Raspberry Pi 5. I'll be referring to this video in my future videos. We'll build on this video and do more projects with the Raspberry Pi 5. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe and I'll see you next time.